everybody. How y'all doing? How you hey okay? In your neck how the works? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. I your girl, Debbie from Dung Ayad. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right over here on West Indian Delights, welcome once more. Thank you so much. Now today, what I want to do for you is a oven or an oven. It's a oven baked fish, but we are going to stuff it with some vegetables. So it's a stuffed oven baked fish. Okay, so we're going to proceed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to chop some, I need, I need a, a green um, seasoning and you know my thing already. So what I'm going to do, all my herbs here, they're all chopped and I'll leave for you in the description everything that we used. Okay, y'all? So everything here has been washed as I said to you. So we are just going to rough chop for the blender. I'll be, you, I'll be making for more than one, but I'm just going to do one. So you know, so then there be... I want fish. Yeah, I cut up so much green season. I'm going to use it for more than one yard. So, I have my green seasoning all rough chopped off. Because you know, we're going to, if you've got a food processor, you can go ahead and use your food processor. So, we're going to dump these stalks and everybody inside here. So, remember I told you we link. Oh, Lord, the celery is so nice. It smells so good. Some garlic. We got some pimento seeds. We're gonna put some fresh, fresh. These things are supposed, mind y'all. These things are supposed to be made fresh every single time you're using them. You're not supposed to make it and have it in the refrigerator for two and three weeks. It will just lose the touch. So each time we're using green puree or green seasoning, you make it fresh because you are omitting the taste of powdered seasoning. So you want this fresh, natural herb. What you want to do, if you have, you might want to just chop it and refrigerate it and um, freeze it, sorry. And then you blend it fresh every time. Don't blend it, leave it on the cupboard, blend it and put it in the fridge. No, it's not going with nothing this so. Okay? So, some ash, but this is fish, so we are going to put a half of a scotch bonnet in there. Not the part with the seed, part with the seeds, and that one here, a root. So now we have some green thyme. We don't want the sticks. So you're just going to go right ahead. And listen to me. This is going to be all in depth. That simple means when I'm through here, you all will be doing this stuffed oven baked fish on your own. You know my thing already, don't it? Right in depth. Doesn't matter the length of the video and all of that. So this is how your thyme must look. You don't want these in there. You need the leaves these have no flavor these are just the sprigs we use them in the soup all like this so when it's when it's finished we can just pull it out like this but when you're blending your green season you don't need this in there because this is just a piece of stick okay now we have it made it making a little mess there so no problem so we need to get this out of the way and okay we need some ginger or oh, could i forget that So I have a few slices of ginger because this thing must taste good, you see? We're not, we're, not, we're not using powdered season, so we want this thing herbs in nice. And remember y'all, you know I'm exploring on my herbs, okay? What we want to do, we want to use a little white vinegar. Not the apple cider, nor the other one. Just probably, just, um, just to, instead of water, you just use a little white vinegar. So we might put probably that is about like both. This is not quarter cup. That is, I'm not sure, but that's a small measurement. So we are going to go on our unit. We're going to make some noise and return. Okay, y'all? All blended off green seasoning, and this is what we have. Now we're going to need some salt to taste. But before that, we have some. This is the, from, let me all show you. I used a Maggi cup soup mix, and I, don't, I didn't want the... The slot and noodle pan, so I sift out some of the powder. You all who use your mom, your bullion, you can go ahead. Your fish, fish bullion, you can go ahead. So I'm going to put some in here. But remember, these things come with a little salt, you know. So I'm going to put all of that inside. So. And I'm going to work it together. Then I'll know 
how much salt. These are all herbs, remember. So at this point, you're going to mix that in there. So you can, you know, and if you're using powdered season, you'll know to mix your blend and to do what you want to do. So, wow, this is a beautiful, but I need a little more salt. We don't want it too salty, you know, because you know the salt thing, we're not all up in arms with this salt. Now I have here some fish and meat sauce and I'm going to put some inside here because this is what we're going to use to flavor this fish. So we're putting everything, you remember I tell to you I'm not, I'm not editing out anything, okay y'all? So we are going to get this all incorporated and all of that. And this is what it looks like. This is what the fresh herbs blended or fresh herb spirit. This is what it looks like. Now, right here, I have some grated ginger and a little grated um, garlic. Mind you, I use garlic and ginger in that already. But to this, I'm going to put a little bit, just a thought of salt. So I'm going to make... And if you have not seen my curry chicken video, my steam fish video, please go check it out. I did something like this. So I'm going to use it to season on the inside. Come on, girl, are you in? I hope you're all in. And I want you all to be in on this. So be careful. Remember, we got um, you got a season inside the head. But uh, hello, when this thing is finished, you know, we're going to eat. And we're going to go straight up in the fish head. That is where we're going to get all them juices. So you got to season this thing. Okay. So we are putting this inside here. And we are leaving it. Now that we have that. In, we are going to use some of this now. To start to put on to our fish. But please be careful y'all. As I'm saying to you. We have a few cores inside here. So we need to get some of them inside here. So what we are going to do you know. We're going to go and finish. I'm showing you how you do it. So we're going to finish this thing and finish um, putting our green herbs because it takes a little time. You got to all, you know, and we're going to leave it to marinate. When we return, you'll see the next segment. Okay. Okay. Now, family, our fish is here. All I've based it all over. Okay. With this all green herb puree. Now we're going to leave it right there. I'm going to use my towel to cover it for another 30 minutes during that time i'll be steaming off some color loop, okay and you all saw how we did it on the collaboration video with that co collaboration with amaro myself please go check that video out okay y'all now there's also a video on my channel that shows you how to clean the color loop to bring it to this to this stage go check it out we're gonna leave for you in the description the link to those videos so we're gonna go now steam the color but we are not gonna steam it all the way through we're gonna steam it half way through because we're gonna use it to stuff the fish and while the fish is being baked inside the oven the cooking process will still be continuing so we just need to steam the color look half way through we're gonna steam it leave it to cool because we can't take up the add color and stuff it down in other cold fish that's a no-no so we're gonna steam it, leave it to cool to room temperature, and then we're gonna, we're gonna come back. So we're gonna come back, stuff the fish, show you how we put it together. We're gonna have some okras and some carrots, and we're gonna make a nice little thing going on. And we're gonna use some. This is an jalapeno, I think. I'm not sure. I've just seen it for the first time, and I'm trying it. I'm not sure, but when I slice it, I will know if it's too hot. And we're going to use some bell pepper and some onions and we're going to make a nice topping on top there. And okay, we're going to use some butter. So all those butter police, they might want to take out their handcuffs ready for me. Because we have got to put the fish together with some butter. Camera girl is laughing, but this is no joke. You've got to put the fish together with some butter. And if when you do it like this, if you don't use butter, you could tell me what you use. I'd be grateful. But we're going to be using soap to some butter. So when we return, our fish will be all marinated. Our kalalu will be steamed cool. And we're going to proceed to stuff this fish for you. We're going to close the, that, that, that gap there with a toothpick. We're going to show you that. And then we're going to put on our topping. Pop it in the oven. We'll proceed from there. Okay, y'all? So now, family, we are set for probably almost taking off fish. Hi, hello. This little girl here, she had a husband, you see? 
This is our mom, husband, but we're not sure of the nature of her husband. So we were using her as the guinea pig. We're not sure how, you know, if her husband, because sometimes when they are big like this, they're kind of, you know, sort of chewing. But let us proceed to see what is happening. So that's why I said to you, I'll be using, I, I was making enough green seasoning for two. So now we're focusing on her, not her husband. Our color has been off steam. This is how you want it. Look for you, look for it. This is it, not properly cook. Eh? So what we're going to do here, we're going to get some. This is what it looks like when it's properly marinated. So we're going to put some of this color low. Get some down in the head part there. Color, come, camera girl, are you in on this process? I want them to see all of this. Really gently, really tender. Just, you don't do these things on a rush. So you want, you want to fill this cavity with some color loop. Now that you have done that, you want, you'd want to seal this with a toothpick. But you all be careful, okay? And this is not hard to seal it with a toothpick, okay? Now we have our greased oven tray here, or your casserole, whatever. Put the camera up on me. You have got to grease almost generously. One, for sticking, and two, to get some nice little juice with the, the, the butter, the flavor from the butter, your butter of choice, 2% butter or whatever, not salted butter. Try to use the butter that is not salty because remember we use some salt. So also for not sticking, the butter is not for not sticking and also to get, when everything starts to melt and these juices have been released, we have some nice um, flavors in the bottom. So you proceed to put her like this now we are going off camera to deal with our husband because he never in a this thing you know him just that they accompany her so when we return we'll have and i hope you saw what i did all marinated and everything looking real pretty ready to go okay y'all so we're gonna go ahead because they're going together and get this one done you saw what i did and you have to remember that the toothpick is there before serving okay everybody is in now both of them are in now we are going to use some butter to put on the top soft butter nice butter like this probably a little to go down but it goes there As we want this thing to taste good enough. We know why when this thing done and all of them something there, I'll be a pop down, pop down taste. Huh? Okay? So, if you feel like you want a little more butter to you know, but remember we had some down in the bottom. Now we're going to proceed to layer some of these. We have some, you know, these give a lot of flavor, as I said to you. They are strong, but they are not cut, so they will be in there, so it's up. To the heater but we've got to put them nice these are some onion rings and you lay them according to you put them to your suit finally come match man so we could put our father them and then come back now we'll come back to you you know we see what one hmm? so now we're all finished this is how this is the girl and that was man look we never know where they are but they're going on a beautiful trip lovely trip so what you want to do now you want to use some foil paper to cover I'm pretty sure that may have been enough. It's not wide enough, so I have got to do it and to join. So you have the wider one, you will know to do it. Because we need all that is going to happen with steam and heat. Put the camera up on me. All the steaming and the heat that is going to be building up in there. We want it to be trapped. That is what is going to cook this fish so juicy and so tender. 175 for 30 minutes 175 degrees celsius if you are in fahrenheit you know it's 350 for 30 minutes but mind you please check please to check don't go leaving if you feel like it's too high you can lower to probably 165 or their boat right in the oven for another 30 to for another 30 minutes on the middle rack at 175 i'm going in but please y'all pay attention okay y'all now that's it this is the this is where we stop the box stops for 
part one. See you in part two.